Surely one of the most remarkable animals that has ever existed, certainly one of the most famous, is a dinosaur. A Tyrannosaurus rex, a creature of historic imagination for all of us, like a Jurassic Park. What kind of animal was it? What did it look like? And how would it coexist with humans? Well, the Jurassic Park films has answered these questions. This is not only about T Rex or any other dinosaur, but other prehistoric creatures that live alongside it in Jurassic World Dominion. And dinosaurs are now learning to coexist with human beings. But the latest green screen technology enables us to bring dinosaurs from the Jurassic Park films into life from this film. In this film, I am taking things to the next level besides all this one you see alone. Stories are filled with flying mountains and tornadoes. And in the scenes, monstrous reptiles patrol the oceans. Back on land, dinosaurs of every kind learning to coexist is making a struggle for our human survival. Sound waves of having known that we were on a dinosaur. Uh, uh, the wolf is next door. Welcome to Dinosaurs in the Modern Day. Now, in this film, it's going to take place it's during the Jurassic Park franchise, and let's see what would happen if dinosaurs would coexist with people. Now, here's what would happen if dinosaurs would coexist with human beings. Now, you may probably be thinking, oh, how are we going to do you know, all the dinosaurs? Well, let Simba explain. So recently, we are going to uh, use green screen effects as for the film itself, and then using real location and the shooting with, with this camera for over fifty pounds on Amazon. Fifty pounds, and it was insane. But you're probably thinking, "Well, I am." Let Simba explain. So we are at a place called Dolores and Warren, a perfect place, ain't in Devon because as from the looks of things, we're on holiday, so I hope you enjoyed Dinosaurs in the Modern Day. Here is one of the first sequences of the film. We come to a place called Dolores. Here we see a couple of ducks and geese as the modern versions of the dinosaurs. In fact, birds have been on this planet for millions of years. Yes, as you can see, there's a family of ducks. But here, they have been spotted by small hunters called constant nathus. A small species of dinosaur that lived during the Jurassic period in Germany. And pigeon itchens are here too, looking for food. And as you can see, this one is jumping like more dinosaur-like behavior towards other species. And here's a power to one of us, having a drink of water. <laughs> but the conflicts are spotted by a hunter. A young T-Rex hatching. As you can see, this one is, has its own striping kitten. This T-Rex hatching has been born just like that. As it got older, those stripes will fade away.
and as you can see, other raptors live here as well. What you are looking at right here are a group of black swans, and they are the closest descendants to the dinosaurs because they are more like the sauropods, like the brachiosaurus. And as you can see, it is seriously characteristic between sauropod dinosaurs and modern birds like swans, for example, use their long necks in order to get themselves food. But other dinosaurs come here too. Like the Ankylosaurus, and as you can see, the back is full of spikes, the spikes of armor plates on its back, and here's a Triceratops with his baby. In fact, Triceratops use his front horn to protect their young from T Rex. And here, here's another set of Ankylosaurus with more armor plating on his head and the weapons his body and the club's tail. Dinosaurs had started to unfold on this planet for about 220 million years and as you can see, some of the vegetation around here in the UK are a bit more like plants that were from the Cretaceous but some of them are more jungle-like. And here is a group of Pistacosauruses, a group of dinosaurs that has quills on its tail to protect themselves from predators like Velociraptors. And here is a baby Triceratops with a Stegosaurus with a fur on its back. A Tyrannosaurus Rex. This female was as recently called down as the Sauropus, which has the strongest blood forces of all nature. But the very next day, as the dinosaurs started to have their morning routine, other species on this planet decided to take them.